Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 9.0. And today is day 13. So today we're going to begin our training on Smart Plans, our third applet inside of Command, with a brief overview of your home screen, and then we're going to take a look at the Smart Plans library. So Smart Plans fourth icon down over here on the left hand side. I still believe this icon is a diploma because it's smart plans, right? Get it? Some might say that's a checklist, whichever you decide, but it's our fourth icon down. When we click on the smart plans applet, first of all, we get three updates. Smart plans is one of the applets that has probably had the most development since the 8.0 challenge. So if you were a part of 8.0 and you learned about smart plans and you haven't been back into command since, you're gonna see a lot of new things happening inside of smart plans, which is pretty exciting. So. The first one is a security update. Hey, Command Email and Twilio have some new content moderation. Follow the Learn More link to ensure message deliverability. So if you click on that Learn More link, it's gonna take you to an answers article. It's gonna to talk to you about some best practices with regards to um, especially including URLs or web links, if you will, um, that come from certain carriers. So definitely check that out. Our second notification tells us, hey, make sure that your marketing profile is completely filled out. We talked about that during day one. And Twilio is not connected. I am going to go through a brief video on the marketplace at the end of Smart Plans because I do believe Twilio and the texting component is very important inside of Smart Plans. So now that we've reviewed those three, we can click the X on each one and we're going to get to what our typical Smart Plan screen would look like. Inside of Smart Plans at the very top, you can see you've got three buttons. The first default is our My Smart Plans tab. This would show us any Smart Plans that we had actually either created or downloaded from the shared library. Right now, we have zero Smart Plans available to us, so we're gonna have to dive into the library, which we'll do next. You can see the library tab essentially just changes what our view is and takes us into a series of different Smart Plans. Just to finish out that home screen, Create, obviously uh, we've talked about this, anytime we wanna start something new inside of Command, there's almost always a blue green button here at the top right hand corner. We're gonna create smart plans later on in the challenge, probably tomorrow or the next day. Uh, search by smart plan name. So once you start getting several smart plans inside of your library, you can actually search for the specific smart plan and those results would then show down here. And then finally, one of the cool things about smart plans is that if you create a smart plan that you really enjoy and you think would be great for other people's use, even if that's just people on your team or in your market center or nationally or globally, you can actually publish smart plans for other people to use. Those would end up in the library, which we will access now. So we're going to click on that library tab. The library is a fantastic place to start with smart plans. Many people wanna get real creative and sort of create their own wheel. And oftentimes there's just not a need to recreate the wheel if that wheel has already been created. Um, and those smart plan wheels, if you will, live inside of the smart plans library. So right off the bat, you're gonna see, you have four sections inside of the smart plans library. We have a featured smart plan section. We've got the Keller Williams smart plan section, top rated smart plans, and then finally, you've got the what's new section for smart plans. So going back up to the top, the featured smart plans are eight smart plans that Keller Williams Labs team has sort of selected as user created content that they think are great examples of smart plans. So you can sort of go through these and check them out. Anytime you're looking at a smart plan in the library, whether it be from the featured section, KW section, what's new, highest rated, um, as you see each card, there are several things to look at inside of that card. So let's go into the Keller Williams section. Let me find one that has multiple steps. Uh, there's a really great open house smart plan. Here we go. So all 10 of these Keller Williams smart plans, I think are all very valuable. We're gonna download a few in just a second. But as an example of a smart plan card, this is the open house follow-up smart plan. It runs for 21 days and includes seven touches. There's a brief description of the smart plan, which says it reaches out to lead that someone acquired via an open house. You can see how many agents have downloaded this smart plan. And then anytime you look at a smart plan, you have the ability to rate it yourself. 
you can see 39 people have rated this smart plan and it gets currently four and a half stars. You can also see who the publisher is and when the smart plan was published. And then finally, the view steps option, it gets you a limited rundown of what the smart plan does. So essentially this smart plan starts off by firing a text. If you have Twilio or it'll prompt you to send this text, then you can see the second day, there's a one day delay. It tells you to create a touch task and send an email. Day four, it tells you a task to make a call and then it sends a text and then make a call. So you can kind of see the rundown of any one of the smart plans. Now the hard part is if there are emails included, um, it doesn't show the actual email. Uh, so that's just a caveat to kind of be aware of. Uh, but let's say that is a smart plan we want to add to our list of smart plans for use. We hold a lot of open houses that might be helpful. I'm gonna click on add smart plan and you can see this smart plan actually utilizes two additional smart plans inside of it. It's a bundled smart plan. And so in order to download the open house smart plan, we also need to download the monthly neighborhood nurture and the long-term nurture. So we would click download here. That allows us to download the monthly neighborhood nurture. Then we're gonna click on download next to long-term nurture. And then we'll click download one more time, which will download the open house follow-up smart plan. So now if we go back to my smart plans, you can see we've got three different smart plans that have all been downloaded. The My Open House, the My Long-Term Nurture, and My Monthly Neighborhood Nurture. Going back to the library quickly in this Keller Williams sections, there are a couple more that I would recommend you download. That would include the Quarterly Call Plan. And I'm a big fan of the Birthday Smart Plan. We already got the monthly neighborhood nurture smart plan, which we'll cover in detail as well. And I also like the promote my app smart plan. So those are just a few in the specific Keller Williams section that I'm a big fan of. I would recommend downloading. Now that we have some smart plans inside of our library, we've got some additional options. So the first thing we can do is click on the arrow next to the smart plan, which is gonna give us that same preview. It's just giving us the preview inside of our actual smart plans instead of the library. Next up, you can see how many contacts you have on that smart plan. We haven't actually added anyone to a smart plan yet. So we've got zeros across the board. We can see when it was created, this is less created, more added to our library for these plans. If it had been a custom plan, then obviously it would have been created. We can also see the duration how many touches, and then we've got some actions here on the right-hand side. Those would include adding contacts to these smart plans, editing these smart plans, which remember, if you just wanna review the smart plan itself, you can also click on the pencil. You don't necessarily need to make changes to review it. And the ellipses allows us to publish a smart plan, copy a smart plan if we wanted to, or delete a smart plan. I highly recommend anytime you download any smart plan, you do click on the edit button and you go through each one of the steps. Stay tuned for tomorrow's video where we begin to walk through the three different columns of items we have. If you haven't been in smart plans for a while, this may be a brand new user interface. It may look completely different from what you've seen before. So I'm excited to share that with you tomorrow. Today, that's a wrap of the My Smart Plans home screen and the Smart Plans library. As always, I hope you're having a fantastic day and I'll look forward to speaking with you again real soon.